Hello friends, welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to edit pictures using different modules in Darktable. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on editing, photography and tech. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. First, we import an image to edit. To do that, click on image option here. By clicking on image, you can import image selectively. However, you also can import the entire folder by clicking on the folder option. Right, we have got the image here. As you can see, this image is slightly underexposed and overexposed in the bottom and top respectively. It also looks a bit dark and it doesn't look appealing as an image. So we are going to adjust the exposure, shadows and highlights, white balance, color and we'll also remove the hedge from the background. Okay, here we have different menus. Under the first menu, we can see all the active modules. As you can see, without touching the pictures, some of the modules are already activated. It is because the software has found some specific information from the raw image. We can adjust all these modules later if we want to. As you can see the curve is activated. We can adjust it even further to change the look of the image according to our preference before going into further editing. Now, under the technical menu, we find the exposure module or we can simply search it here. We are going to adjust the exposure. We can compensate camera exposure by ticking this box. You don't have to know exactly the overexposed and underexposed areas if you are confused about it. However, you can see the changes by adjusting the levels. We can select automatic as mode if we don't want to adjust it manually. You can play with the exposure and black level to adjust the areas. Now we search for shadows and highlights modules. As soon as we activate this module, we can see some changes with the default settings. However, we can adjust it according to our preference. We can adjust the black point and exposure by dragging them at any stage. Friends, now we find a hedge removal module. You can find it under the technical menu or you can simply search it here. As soon as we activate this module, we can see the changes in the image. We can adjust the level of strength and distance for removing hedge. Okay, now we find the tone curve under the color menu. By using the curve, we can adjust the bright and dark parts of the image.
Now we use tone equalizer to bring an even better look by targeting specific brighter and darker areas. Anyways, I'm not going to use advanced settings in this tutorial, but if you want, you can spend time in it. So after activating this module, wherever you place the pointer in the image, it shows specific data of the area which you can find in the setting area. You also can activate this little icon to identify the overexposed and underexposed areas. You simply then can adjust the light and darkness of these specific areas according to your preference. Okay, now we use the color contrast module. Here we increase the values of color contrast. Now we use color zones module. When we activate this module, there is a pointer that appears immediately. We take the pointer wherever we want to adjust the color. We can adjust the saturation, light and hue separately. I am decreasing the values of saturation and light since these red zones distract our eyes from the main focus of the image. Okay, now we increase the vibrance a bit. We still can see some hedge in the background. So we return to the hedge removal module again and increase the strength slightly. Now we are going to sharpen a bit the main subject only since we don't need to get everything else sharp. So we return to the sharpen module and click on the drone and parametric mask. Take the ellipse and place over the subject. We can adjust the circle. Right now we increase the radius of sharpness. Right now we activate the local contrast module. It enables us to highlight the details. Similarly we add mask to apply the contrast in the main subject. Now we return to the white balance module. Here I am decreasing the value of temperature to bring a natural look in the image.
I think we are almost done. But I think we still can increase the value of exposure a bit. Now I am duplicating uh, the image to the original so that we can see the difference. I think it looks fine after editing. Anyways, when you are happy with editing, return to Lightable to export the image. Click on the export menu and choose the location, adjust the image quality if you want to, and also check the other settings before exporting the image. Friends, this is how we can edit photos in Darktable. I sincerely appreciate your valuable feedback, so please feel free to share your opinion. Thanks.